Morning folks, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. Gonna give you a quick video walk around of this 2019. Uh, on a 68 plate, it is the Peugeot Partner 1.6 HDI Professional. It is in the rarer L2 long wheelbase format, so that gives you twin side loading doors and the rear barn doors, and obviously the uh, additional length that you would get over the normal L1 short wheelbase model. Um, it is one keep from, keeper from you. Uh, it has come direct from lease uh, with a warranted 41,000 miles. Um, in good overall condition, there's a couple of bits and pieces we've got to do to it prior to it going out. I will point those out to you as we go around on the video because all of our videos are warts and all. So uh, we get to show you, um, yeah, the good bits and the bad bits. Um, and, and then con come to a compromise somewhere in the middle, I think. But there we go. Anyway, let's uh, let's show you the uh, the video uh, of exactly what she's like condition-wise. So, up there on the roof, it's straight and tidy. It hasn't had a roof rack fitted to it or anything like that. Uh, no dents or dings that are immediately obvious on the video there. As you can see, you have got the uh, LED warning light on the back there. Uh, if you don't want it, we can remove it. It's not a major drama, to be fair. Windscreen, that's all looking good. Uh, no stone chips cracks anything like that <clears throat> coming down onto your bonnet bonnet is in overall good condition okay uh, i have noticed we have a stone chip oh no we don't i thought it was a stone chip and it's actually dirt so disregard that um it's just dirt off the trees at work so um yeah overall good condition uh, front grills front of the front bumper etc those are in good condition there's no breakages there or anything your passenger side headlamp unit again that's in nice order as well passenger side front bumper corner is in good order as you can see so is your front fog light if we look down the side profile of the van from this angle hopefully you can see uh, there are no dents or dings to point out to you uh, very straight and tidy down the sides of the vehicle coming around to your driver side headlamp that's all good driver side front bumper corner again that's all good with no scuffing and your front fog light there that's all good as well and again looking down the driver side profile of the vehicle uh, that is straight and tidy no dents or dings to point out to you we'll start from the driver's side driver's side front wing that's all good side repeater as you can see that's all good we have a factory steel wheel with a factory hub cap that has an avon tire on it uh, that tire has probably about midway through the range on the tyre tread depth. Tell you where we are with tyres. Legal limit is 1.6 millimetres. Anything less than three millimetres we replace as part of the PDI process. Um, mirror unit, driver's side, that's all good. Nice and secure, no damage. Your door glass, driver's side, that's all good. Driver's side door itself, that's all good. Your door handle and lock is all good. Have a look at your door edges, straight and tidy. They all line up. Driver's door is actually not shut properly at the moment. Um, just down the bottom there, just requires a little bit of touching in on the or door edge there, okay? They've obviously just caught it um, and uh, that needs uh, some touching in. So we'll get that sorted out on it for you. Your protective strip going down the side of the vehicle is in good condition with no damage on it. If we get down low and have a look at your seals, the seals appear to be in good condition with no damage either your driver's side side loading door again no damage on it opens up nicely as you can see have a look at your door edges the door edges are all very clean and tidy your door seals clean and tidy and first scene of the back of the vehicle you can see it's clean and tidy, factory bulkhead. It is ply lined, but then does have the factory rubber floor on top of the ply lining. And it's all neat and tidy in there. Driver's side rear quarter, that is all good. Both upper and lower. Your Driver's side wheel is a factory steel with another factory hub cap on it. So you have another Avon tire. That tire has loads of tire tread depth on it, as you can see. That's all looking good. 
if we let me just close that driver's door properly shall we we've got a couple of touchings on the on the driver's door edge there as well so we'll get those touched in as well but hopefully you can see looking down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle really straight and tidy now first of the things to point out to you this is as it's come into us there's a there's a bit of a homemade that's a bit of a builder's bodge gone on there isn't it really um but uh not suggesting builder's bodge or anything like that but there's um there's some uh, technique gone into there with the old um <sighs> yeah uh we'll have to get that sorted out on it anyway uh rear light unit that's all looking good rear of the vehicle as you can see is rear barn doors barn doors actually are in pretty good condition if you're being ultra fussy we just have just a little bit of a i suppose you could call it a crease just in the door there um, it's highlighted more by the angle of the sun coming from the left hand side this morning but overall pretty good condition if you look at your door edges no major damage to those no touching in required rear bumper i think we're gonna have to replace the rear bumper um, it's actually got a crease here so and i think that has probably caused their repair to there okay so um we're gonna have to look out for one of those and uh, and get that replaced on it unfortunately so you will probably have a brand new rear bumper on it or certainly a good second hand bumper it depends what the availability is on parts inside the vehicle factory bulkhead as you can see uh, there's no big dents in that or anything it doesn't appear to have been through uh, too much of a hard life this panel here opens up and gives you additional load length through to the front of the vehicle side parts of the vehicle as you can see paintwork wise etc all pretty good as I say no major damage nothing like that factory rubber flooring over the ply lining kit inside of the rear doors a couple of minor marks but nothing nothing major rear light unit passenger side that's all looking good looking down the passenger side of the vehicle all pretty straight and tight i've just noticed a little parking ding on the passenger door i'll point that out to you when we get to it but rear bumper corner this side's all good with no scuffing just battling with the sunlight now so uh rear quarter passenger side upper all looking good lower part all looking good as well your fuel flap and uh, add blue filler is just here as well that one's lockable the add blue isn't um, and your factory steel wheel with a factory hubcap and an avon tire on the passenger side again plenty of tire tread depth on there passenger sliding door that's all looking good with no damage again have a look at your door edges they all line up nicely sliding door passenger side as you can see that one opens up and slides back nicely again look at your door edges or your door shuts those are nice and clean and tidy entry seals and plastics are in really good condition just another viewpoint of the back from this angle as well passenger front door door glass is good we have a little bit of minor scuffing on your mirror unit nothing major there at all to be fair it is all good your mirrors are all good now there was just ever such a slight little parking ding here it's actually very difficult to see um, but there is something there okay your passenger front door that's all looking good we have a really minor scuff mark there on your protective black strip down the side of the vehicle and then your passenger side front wing that's all good your passenger side front wheel is another factory steel with a factory hubcap that tire is knackered it would actually pass an mot believe it or not but i'm not we certainly wouldn't be going out like that from us so we'll get certainly get that one replaced we'll review what the other side is like uh, and then make a decision whether we're, we're going to do a pair of front tires or not um, but obviously we'll let you know that opening up the vehicle your passenger door card inside clean and tidy um, actually very clean and tidy inside your door cards your door pockets the plastics don't have any extreme scratching on them or anything 
your entry seals and plastics again are in great condition your flooring inside as you can see that's in good condition there's your bonnet pull i'll pull that i'll show you under there uh, dashboard fascia hopefully you can see that's good we have a glove box that the valet is obviously not found um, so that needs cleaning there is a usb power in there uh, and i think that's a power oh yeah look we've got a, a dash cam of some sort going on there um so i'll probably remove that for you don't know how good it'll be um dashboard fascia top of the dashboard etc is all good cup holders are all good your headlining all good you have storage just up there as well and then your seat trim let's move the camera out of the way passenger seat trim is all looking clean and tidy these seats fold up um, or down i should say so pull the blue tag on the top of the seat folds down like that as you can see on the back of the seat it's obviously not done any hard work that is the flap that opens up into your load area so that gives you your additional length through to the front your passenger front seat third seat let's try and do it with the camera so that folds down like that as well uh this thing slides around as well and then does something or other that i can't quite remember i think we might have it might flip over i can't quite remember anyway we'll work that one out um but yeah pretty clean and tidy passenger side isn't it we'll show you the bonnet as we go around to the driver's side bonnet there's your peugeot badge okay just to the left of there is your little bonnet handle opening it up as you can see clean and tidy in the engine bay really clean and tidy your coolant is down there it is the correct color coolant and it has no contamination in it uh, as you would expect 1600 hdi engine there's your oil dipstick there's your oil filler there's your windscreen wash your coolant as i've mentioned there's your battery fuse box etc is there as well um, everything is really clean and tidy under here i really rate these new partners i think they're a cracking van um, really nice to drive like living with a car um, a nice specification with them as well certainly in this professional spec uh, door cards clean and tidy again uh, electric windows electric mirrors central locking button there your entry seals and plastics are all good excuse my morning cup of tea there but there's your floors you know element aware on the floor there i always suggest buy a set of rubber mats and some seat covers protect your investment um yeah uh pedal rubbers as you can see all good entry or i should say driver's seat squab clean and tidy no excessive wear this handle here ratchets and does your height adjustment headlamp uh adjustment there it has stop start technology your air vents are all good another cup holder there that doesn't take a yeti cup i'm afraid um and then let's just turn it on so we turn it on it does a systems check as you can see Forty-one thousand eight hundred fifty-nine miles there you go it tells us our handbrakes on and we don't have a seat belt on all clear in all other respects currently got 46 miles worth of fuel in it uh oh, somebody's reset the computer so anyway they're economical these things are these are a really cool sort of touchscreen um system going on here so you've got apple carplay you've got mirror link and you've got android auto as long as you plug your telephone into the usb port uh which is around here somewhere oh god on the front of it there look um, then that will mirror you what your telephone is showing it so you can then use your navigation off your telephone so uh, in the case of apple which is what i've got then you've got obviously uh, apple carplay uh, giving you your navigation off that and yeah all of that you do have your normal bluetooth telephone and your normal bluetooth music as well um uh, as i say navigation comes through your telephone we have really you know loads of various different settings that you can play around with it does have dab radio not sure why you show photos on the screen of your, of your stereo but there you go steering wheel is one of these kind of funky flat bottomed steering wheels kind of quite small uh, we have auto lights can't really see because the steering wheel but we've got auto lights on the left hand stalk 
We have cruise control and speed limiter on the left hand lower stalk. We have your volume controls on the right hand lower stalk and then we have your uh, wipers and your onboard computer system button is on the end there on there horns in the center of your steering wheel as i say lights are set on auto at the moment you can twist them to manually turn them on if you wish we always leave them on auto you have air conditioning what every van should have nowadays we have air conditioning electronic stability program this button here will turn your flashes up on up on the roof five speed manual gearbox reverse gear is all the way to the right and back and then that gives you your park distance display on there as well electronic handbrake on these latest ones top of the dash in here oh we've got a bit of storage behind there didn't realize that and yeah there we go so as i say it's a 41,000 mile one owner from you l2 long wheelbase peugeot partner professional in pretty good all-round condition we've got to sort that rear bumper out on it as well certainly sort that passenger front tire out on it um, but that would all be stuff we would normally have done as, as part of the course. It will have 12 months MOT, it will have a 110 point PDI check. Servicing, if that's due, we will get it serviced. When I say we service it, we don't just do an oil and filter change. We do oil, air, fuel and pollen. Um, get it all done at the same time, keep on top of it. The van's reliable then, isn't it? Um, there are 60 to 70 photos on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reviews online. They are on our website. But obviously you can also find us on Google, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, I think that's about it really, isn't it nowadays? I haven't quite mastered TikTok or anything like that, I'm afraid. I'm just a little bit old for that, but... There we go. Um, thanks for looking. If you're looking at buying it, you've just wasted, well, you, you, you hopefully you haven't wasted it, but there's 17 minutes of your life you won't get back, but it gives you a good viewpoint of the van. Uh, thanks for looking. Speak to you later. Cheers.